I will show you how to create shapes, edit colors, and change text. Let's start designing. Now, as a reminder, here on the left, we have our selection tool, our rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, line tool, pen tool, text tool, and artboard tool, and zoom as well. So let's start playing around with some of these features. With the rectangle tool selected, or by clicking R, let's create a rectangle. So I can click on the artboard and simply drag to create that rectangle or square. But if I hold down the shift key, it will maintain its dimensions as a square. Any kind of change that we want to make will be done in the property inspector. If we want it to be rounded edges, we could do that here. If we wanted to change the width or the height, we could do that up here. And also we could adjust it, of course. But I'm gonna go ahead and change the fill color. So let's say I'm gonna just have it be a light gray. And imagine that we'll use that gray later. I can click this plus icon here to save the color swatch. Let's also take a look at the ellipse tool. Let's draw a circle. So again, if I don't hold any button down on the keyboard, this is what would happen. But if I hold down shift, I create a perfect circle. We can also change the border color, so let's make it a dark black. Now we can also draw a few lines. If you want even more control over the shape you're designing, or want to create icons, for example, I would recommend that you use the pen tool. Now, with text, we have two different options. If I simply just click anywhere on the artboard with the text tool selected, I can type a single line of text. As you can see here in the property inspector, this is referred to as point text. This particularly comes in handy when you just need to add a few words to your design. If you wanted to add a little bit more text, say a paragraph, I would recommend using this text option, which is area text. In order to create area text, all we need to do is click, hold, and drag to define the area. 